Good morning, I hope everyone is well. I am the owner and founder of Blessed Magnolia Event Planning. And my journey, I am a new startup company, but my journey started about three years ago. When my daughter became engaged and got married and we started the process of planning her wedding. Now at the time I had been with my current nonprofit for eight years and had planned and executed well over a hundred events. So I knew that this would probably be pretty easy, a great process with my daughter, a lot of fun. Um, but boy, I was a little wrong on that. The process was easy because I had planned so many events and executed. But what I realized about two weeks before the wedding was, wow, she's the bride. She can't work that day. And wow, I am the mother of the bride. So I'm definitely not working that day. I need to enjoy this moment and be there to support her. So luckily for me, I had enough people in the industry that I knew, I had enough connections that I picked up the phone, I made a few phone calls, and had everybody in place to take care of it for us. So it was a beautiful event and everything went off well. But what I started to think about was other families that may be in that same situation. So that's kind of where my, my brain started rolling with, maybe I could look at this. So I started to look at the wedding industry as a whole. I found that $72 million is spent every year on weddings. That number just floored me. And that the average wedding budget is $20,000. So gentlemen in the room, if you have daughters, start saving now because it really is around that figure. Um, in 2016, there were 167,416 weddings in the state of Florida that were performed. That was astonishing. 2,173 of those weddings were right here in Marion County. So I thought, well, there is a business, there is a market for it, so there. But then I thought, why stop just at weddings? We have social and personal, we have personal milestones in our life that we like to be a part of. We throw parties for everything, birthdays, retirements, anniversaries, and that list could go on and on. So why not be able to help people with those as well? So the next three years after my daughter's wedding, I really started paying attention when I went to different parties, different events, different nonprofit events, and realized the same thing time and time and time again, that the people that were hosting the party or putting on the party never got time really to enjoy the party because what would happen is they were so busy worrying about all the details and actually making sure everyone was taken care of that they never sat back and relaxed. So fast forward three years to where I am now. The beginning of this year, I started to research the local industry for event planners and event coordinators. Now we do have three different companies in town that are actually event design and decoration. Now those companies, they'll take your vision, they'll put your vision out there, they'll design it and decorate it to your vision, but they're not gonna hold your hand from start to finish until your last guest leaves. Then I looked for event planning and coordinating companies in town. There are two different companies in town that actually have websites that you can learn about their business besides my own, so that would be three. Um, there would be that you could find out about their companies. And there were about three to four other individuals that used a Facebook page. As a business, Facebook page is means of advertising their business. So there was no web page to get further kind of in depth. Facebook page was there and it had good information. So with my experience in planning, I thought there was no better time than the present to go ahead and start my business. But then I thought, why would I just stop at personal? I've been a nonprofit leader for the last 11 years. Couldn't I help nonprofits as well with their events and help planning those events? Obviously, there would be a conflict of interest if you're helping with the funding side of events but it would just be the planning and executing of events, not working on the funding side. And as a member of the nonprofit steering committee for the CEP as part of my time during the nonprofit and going to so many nonprofit meetings, I learned the same thing. Event planners, advancement directors, executive directors of these nonprofits spend so much time planning and executing the event, they never have time to meet with their constituents and build those relationships. And that's the whole reason we do the events to begin with, is to do that. So then I started thinking beyond nonprofit planning, I went to corporate event planning. I don't know how many people in town handle corporate event planning or business, but businesses do many, many different events and there's someone in the office that would be tasked to help put that event together. So how much time or how many connections does that person in the office have to make that happen? So I realized that my customer base 
could not only be weddings and personal milestones, but nonprofit planning and corporate planning to help all of those. Maybe you've decided that you want to plan your event from start to finish, but you just want someone there to execute the day. So Bless Magnolia, of course, is there to help you. Maybe you think that you can handle it from start to finish, but then all of a sudden you get halfway through and you realize, I just don't have the connections, I don't understand how to read these contracts, and I need help. So Bless Magnolia can step in. Or maybe you just want somebody to come in, you want to share your vision, you want to share what your outcomes are, you want to give them that, me that budget, Bless Magnolia can step in and do all the legwork from start to finish. So when I came up with my mission statement for my business, I really wanted it to speak to what Bless Magnolia was. It was filling your day with beautiful memories and bountiful blessings so you can enjoy every moment. Because there is not a wedding that I want to happen that a family member has to step up and do the work for the family. They should all be able to enjoy it. A nonprofit should be able to communicate and connect with their donors when they're at the event. And that's why. And a corporation should be able to host and appreciate their employees and the people they're serving at their events. So thank you so much for letting me come here today and I'd like to open the floor for questions.